Hello and welcome to IVCA Conclave 2018, Day 1. Today we have with us uh, Ms. Anjali Bansal. She is a growth investor and mentor. Our first question to uh, Ms. Bansal is, uh, Ma'am, what do you feel about IVCA, the Conclave as well as the team? I'm delighted to be here at uh, IVCA Conclave. It is our first ever Conclave in Mumbai, which for those of us who live and work uh, in Mumbai is terrific. IVCA has done yeoman service to the industry over the last several years. I've had the opportunity to serve on the executive committee now for uh, the last couple of years. And I think the strides made in terms of engagement with our regulatory ecosystem, creating the visibility for our industry as an organized industry, creating responsibility mm -hmm. and creating organization around it. I give uh, enormous uh, uh, respect and, and due recognition to the leadership of the IVCA as well. We you were just telling me offline that you know you are a gr very serious feminist and you were just now on a panel on uh, gender lens investing. Mm -hmm. So please give us uh, some do's or don'ts for women entrepreneurs. So I think um, this question about gender tends to get uh, quite, um, it's a bit of a flashpoint. And we are as an industry inflecting a little bit. It's not different from where corporate India, the corporate, the rest of the world, global corporates were a few years ago. Right. Recognizing the need to have diversity in any dialogue and whether it's gender or any other kind. And today we are talking about women and gender. But all diversity is useful, it leads to better problem solving, better decision making. There are numerous case studies and lots of research has been done to show that having diverse teams leads to actually better outcomes. And companies that have a diverse management team, a diverse board, they actually outperform their peers when it comes to return on equity, return on investment, and in, in, including growth and profitability. I think the same thing applies to the world of private capital investing. We have fewer women in uh, private equity than we do in other industries as a percentage basis. It is also known that women entrepreneurs typically find it harder to raise capital. Just as has happened in other parts of the business ecosystem, in recognizing that having access to a richer talent pool, the remaining 50%, leads to better decision making for funds. You know, they get better deal flow. We are able to look at a, a broader set of opportunities for investment and for our companies to have a more diverse workforce and also make better decisions and lead to better outcomes. I think that is what it really takes. Many of us have grown up professionally having wonderful, um, supportive organizations, bosses, mentors, champions, many of whom were men. So as a woman, I would say that the dialogue around diversity and inclusion truly has to be that way. It is not this against that, it is actually all together. So that is what I, for me, is diversity and inclusion. So last question, a lot of people want to know what is keeping Anjali Pansal busy these days? You must tell us. It's, uh, what is keeping me busy is what I like doing and um, I enjoy working with entrepreneurs and helping them scale up and build their businesses. So you're on the board of delivery uh, yes. that happened recently. Anything yes. else that you can share with us? More to come, but in the meanwhile, I love finding new businesses, uh, business models that are scalable, entrepreneurs that we can believe in and work with, and then uh, support them not just with capital, but with a lot of business building support to help them really achieve full potential in their business. Thank you so much, ma'am, and look forward to hearing more about what Sir. you're up to these days. Sure. Thank you for your time. Thank you.